Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. Uh, so here we are, still in the midst of Sandioria missions, or what have you, and we should be able to pick up 5 Tac 1, which will have us killing the Arch Lich. Which, since the Arch Lich is a skeleton, we'll want to use blunt damage against it, even though. Fairly important mission, huh? <laughs> As if she hasn't sent us on, like, all these ones that are life and death for other people. Uh. You better properly equip yourself before embarking on this journey. She told the level 75 adventurer wearing augmented sky god gear and gear from Apollyon and Dynamis. I don't think I'll be sing songy in this one, but uh, dog, dog, dog. You wanted in here, and I told you, I told you, if you wanted out, you better <sighs> give me a second here. And she changed her mind the second I stood up. Clearly she's starting to think that if she goes near the door, it'll make me stand up and stop doing whatever I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, you gonna send us to Faye in? No, oh man, this is so unexpected. The secrets of the Zillard's power. Hmm. Well, the secret would be that they're the first people after Altana destroyed Paradise for the sake of Promethea. And they're people who are still aware that they once were basically gods that lived in Paradise. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think now we just go to Feyen again and prepare for cutscene with the Zade again. <sighs> could be worse, could be worse. We could have to walk there still. So anyway, Lion, as I was telling you last time, if you just want to go Galka and... Uh, I can use this tail for all sorts of things. Yada yada yada. This is the third time we've seen this. Unfortunately, it will be the last time we see this. And again, I remind you, this is one of the very few cutscenes in this game where you see Zade without his sword on his back. Which I find really interesting since he's in a hostile environment. Okay, even though we totally don't need to use food, I'm gonna use food anyway. I can't half-ass it. I gotta have that hamburger icon. The rank 5 mission! 1 minute, 11 seconds, held by Demio. Four adventurers, including Demio. I wonder if that was a guy in a bunch of his duel boxes, or if it was 
somebody else. Like, if it was, it was like a bunch of newbies actually doing it for reals, but they were all over leveled. Not the side skeleton, damn it, tab targeting. That's right, Dragoon can use Retribution. Fear my blunt damage, you fool. Fear it! damage difference like versus the resistance actually would have made a difference here eh, maybe a little bit they're resilient to piercing by I don't remember if it's 25% or if it's 50% oh come on definitely not breaking the record this time around yeah so the staff was a good idea I can still swing. Also, why don't you have your sword, man? That's really weird. Where's your sword, Zade? There he goes, calling at the crossroads of fate again. I'm still here wondering if we're going to have to make out with a demon and get ripped apart by hellhounds. Uh, you know, I think actually, won't we be close enough to the home point? Like, I know this puts us, like, slightly not near it, but... Hmm. If there's a Fei Yin, is there a Fei Yang? Eh? 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 Hmm. Oh, right. We have to walk past the level 90 ghosts they added here. Um, I don't have my sneak ring ready. Well... I lived a good life. <laughs> if we don't do something soon, these accounting book books won't be the only thing seeing red. Uh-oh. <laughs> Puru getting upset about uh, Unity or something. Don't mind me, Mr. Ghost. Nah, you, you don't want to aggro me. It's very rude of you to aggro me, you know. No, I don't want to set other things. Ah. Okay, we'll zone in and zone out because we aggroed the ghost. I'll tell you.
I still think it's really weird that they did that. Like, they they didn't think about it. It's like one of the first camps they rearranged to try to give people options to level outside of Abyssia. Uh, not just because Abyssia was like taking over the game, but because Abyssia was an, a, a, an optional add-on for purchase back in the day. Like, it didn't get bundled in with the game. And so they added all these level, you know, 80 to 90 monsters and all these other different places where people usually don't go to EXP to try to get people, you know, to be out in the world in EXP in different places. And they put them in Feiyin and thinking, oh, yeah, this is a good spot. And it's like, no, that is not a good spot. That is where the rank 5 mission takes place. <laughs> also, who would EXP on ghosts? Who in their right mind would EXP on ghosts? Gorilla. I believe Gorilla's helmet is a unique helmet. I don't think anyone else in the game has that helmet, and we as players can't get it, to my knowledge. I think it's actually part of her model. My ability, fools, are you blind to this peril? The enemy approaches while we bicker. Yes, my prince, we know not the enemy's numbers. I believe the peril of rushing headlong into battle would be too great. Indeed, word of the Shadow Lord's return was brought to us by adventurers, and as yet unconfirmed. And it, if it did happen to be true, all the Knights of San Diorio would not be enough. We must confer with the Alliance, my prince. So be it. All this talk of diplomatic liability. There are people who we must defend and an enemy we must defeat. Not matters, but that simple truth. In such times, where could Puge be going? I like Treon, he's all like, dude, let's take care of the fucking problem. And everybody else is like, nah, I don't want to take care of the fucking problem. We've got to go through the bureaucracy, Treon! The bureaucracy can go fuck itself. That's good soda. As my kidneys wail in agony. Oh right, we gotta trade some coins. Or uh, crystals, rather. Yo, dog. Uh, I don't know how many crystals it'll take. I'll give you seven. Dun, 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 dun. Back in the day, you had to trade like multiple stacks to get your rank points up enough for next missions. Requested us personally. You should be honored. Sure thing, baby.
Okay. Thought you wanted to see me, but I guess it's Prince Treon, huh? Maybe I skim read a little too fast there. <sighs> oh, Prince Treon is looking for you. Okay, yeah. I did skim read too fast. Prince Royal's room. Prince Royal's room. What's up, man? How long do these fools wish to sit here discussing our deaths? We've no time for talk, not anymore. We must have just... Words are hard. We must move to stop the return of the Shadow Lord, or war will come upon Vanadiel once again. Calm wind, this is an order. Hurry as quickly as you can to Castle Saval in the far north and put an end to this evil scheme of the Beastmen. I will accept all responsibility for this mission. Now go, brave warrior, for the future of Vanadiel. Dude, Prince Trion's going behind everybody's backs. He's just like, fuck it. I know this guy can take him. And if this were my first nation mission, I'd be like, are you insane? But it's not my first nation mission. Clearly, Trion can just see that I'm level 75. He knows. He knows. He didn't have his memory wipe. There's no way they'd memory wipe a prince. He remembers that I saved Ottergon already. He knows I already killed the Shadow Lord twice. About to be three times, you know what I'm saying. Castles evolve, keep. Ah, good old Castles of All music. Yeah, this time there will be no messing around. I will summon the hell out of some trusts and we will beat the fuck out of this guy so we can get a show on the road here. You can get Trion as a tank trust, I believe. And I don't have him yet. But we can use Corilla. I mean, it doesn't really matter which trusts we use, so we might as well go with some Sandy Orion themes people we've recently seen that we've skim read past. The Shadow Lord battle. That could be a band name. Mightiest birds give their all in hunting the smallest of prey. That's good good words to live by there. I don't think I have any magical damage trusts that are Sandy Orion themed. there, bruv. Well, I don't think he counts as a demon, but I'm going to use Demon Killer anyway.
There goes phase one. Yeah, I'm skipping the event. I do not care. Because we've seen it before. Oh, he put his he put his tuxedo on. Like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die dr dressed well. That's his O face. Close his one eye when he kneels. <laughs> Great expressions of pain there, game. Great expressions of pain. Oh, we were 23 seconds off the record. Shucky darn. I'm afraid to tell you this, Ralgrim, but it, but it is over. I, I even had my friend blow you up in Dynamis. So, like, it's like over, over. Grim, do you remember Galcameo? Yes, I do now. The forbidden Galcameo must never be searched for upon Google. There's too much Bara porn as there as it is. song third verse we've seen it before and we won't see it again hey lion how do you turn some some things you say blue what do you mean I mean, like, you were speaking, and then your words turned blue. 
Effect? You can't hear colors. Well, apparently Calm Wind can. Do you say anything new now, Switch Sticks? Oh, no, he's still talking about my Relic Blade. You know, I am going to start that eventually here. I am going to make a second Relic. Just so I don't feel boxed in by Red Mage being my Relic Holder. Sandioria, please. Up, up, and away, book. Alright, so can I get back to doing the San Diorian story now, please? Thank you. His Majesty awaits. Is it the king or is it... There's Clady in the back. Hmm? In the game of Mary Fuck Kill, I would kill Puge, fuck Treon, and marry Clady. Remember, like, yesterday when you guys were just randomly bumping into me in the port? Father, let us not dwell on the petty detail. The Shadow Lord is dead, and our greatest threat is no more. We must return our attention to Sandioria herself. Of course, our nation has fallen ill. Our long struggle with the Beastmen has prevented any recovery from the war. Much like the reign of King Ranpair. Mm, look at Clady. Look at Clady. Ah, the Dragon King Ranpair? Yes, our great ancestor. But that king pulled our kingdom from the brink and brought Sandioria again to greatness. A truly legendary feat. You speak of the treasure of the Dragon King? Yes, the legends speak of King Ranpair and how he used the treasure to save this nation. And where may we find this treasure? <laughs> if only I knew! It is all but a legend. But apparently the king sealed it away somewhere. I cannot fathom why. Many were sent looking for it, but none succeeded. Perhaps now is the time we must find it and break the barrier that protects it. <laughs> Calm wind. Should you uncover any news of Rampair's treasure, report to us at once. Father, I urge you to send expeditions to every corner of Venadiel. Now, just a moment, Trion. Why should we wander in darkness when the Papsks may still illuminate us? The Papsk, Your Majesty? Yes, I have faith that soon he will come. We will find some clue for us. My own life is waning. I must solve this mystery while I still breathe. Father. When that time comes, Calm Wind, your assistance will be needed by us all. Do not let us down. Calm Wind, I, Clady, thank you for your actions on behalf of the motherland. 
When we first met, you were but a fledgling adventurer, and now you are a paragon of virtue. May you continue to strive for the greatness of our nation. Our prayers be with you. She wants me. Gonna leave the chateau. Gonna leave it hardcore. We have to... We can get Trust Treon now. Which I don't think he's better than Valineral or anything. But eh, why not? Why not get him? Never hurts to have another Trust available to you. Plus, there's that thing I mentioned when I think you get up to, I think it's 84 trusts or something. You get a thing where you can have your trusts buffed. They get, like, additional levels or something whenever you're in a party with real people and you use your trusts. They, the less trusts you have in the party, the stronger the trust will be. Let this line of Sandy or your roar. I would like trust Clady, please. Ah, he's he's na he's naming all the quests I've done. Like the Paladin. Uh, Ballin. I wonder if we get Puge as a trust at any point. I mean, we did White Mage Artifact Armor, right? You'd think Puge would be trusting in us by now, maybe? Nope. Maybe further on in the Sandioria missions we'll get Puge. I remember reading something about trust interactions between Puge and Treon. Supposedly, Puge is a White Mage trust, and he only... I, like, it was hard from how they wrote it, because, like, people who write these wikis, sometimes, you know, their literacy level is still back in middle school. But, uh, so, you know, the, the way they write the word, wor the wording is very off, and, you know, like, it could go either way. But I got the impression from the way they wrote it that they meant that Puge only heals Treon with regen, meaning he doesn't cast cures on, on Treon. But, at the same time, it could also mean that he will cast regen, but only on Treon. Which I think that's probably what it is, because usually trust synergy is for the better. I don't think there's any trust synergy that I know of that where it makes the trust worse if you use them together. But, uh, I guess I can find that out someday. Someday, someway, somehow. Oh right, I gotta I gotta give crystals again. Shuck it darn. I don't know how many. I, I'll start by giving you five. Good work, citizen. Loot's last wishes, huh? 
That sounds that sounds like the next thing. She keeps telling me that I should be, feel honored, but this is like the fourth or fifth time already that the Chateau's asked for me directly by name, so. Also, I like that we're getting paid because it's going to cost us money to switch back back to Bastok. But all this gil we're getting from the nation missions will more than pay for it. And once again, it's going to be more expensive to switch to Bastok than it was to switch to Windurst or Sandioria. Because Bastok's in first place, bitches! They hate us because they ain't us. Why, if it isn't Calm Wind, this time your mission has been issued by the late Queen Loot herself. What? It sounds strange. The King will inform you of the details. What do I know about the late Queen? I see. You'd like to do your homework before diving into this mission. Well, Queen Loot the First, Dior Gil, was originally the Princess of Technasia. She married into the Dior Gil family before the Great War. Known for her exquisite beauty, there was a man. There wasn't a man in Sandioria who wouldn't give his right arm to spend a moment alone with her, including myself. But as you know, Tabnasia was left obliterated after the Great War. One could tell that this troubled the Queen, but she would never show her pain in public. If Tabnasia had survived the ruin, Marquis Altador's son, namely Queen Newt's younger, Newt's younger brother, would have succeeded to the throne. However, after the war, her brother disappeared. The flames of war have the power to change destinies. I can only pray that we, our lives will be free of such tragedy. I apologize. I went on too long. The king is ready for your audience now. So, more or less, we just found out that Rochifone is the, uh... Or is at least pretending like he's Lute's younger brother from Tabnasia. What? Why did Calm Wind like look back and forth so sharply? I have good. I've heard good things about you, Calm Wind. Your contributions to the kingdom are both welcome and appreciated. I assume you have heard the details from Halver. Your next mission is the request left by my late wife, Loot, in her will. You've visited the garden where the queen rests, have you not? In that garden grows a rare, delicate flower found only in certain remote areas of Vanadiel. My wife asked in her will that this flower, the Dream Rose, always bloom by her side. It sounds like a simple task, but the rarity of the seeds forces us to send out our finest warriors. That is why I have called you here, Calm Wind. I can trust you will find a Dream Rose and plant it in the garden belong alongside my dear wife's grave. It's given us like the spooky mystery music. It is kind of a weird spooky request. Go get a flower, but by the way, getting this flower could fucking kill you. What? Oh, this must be for some quest. Man, Halver is simping hard for loot. <laughs> Halver, I wasn't asking you for a rambling trip down memory lane. A new queen? Passionate heart for all of our subjects, as, my, as did my dear Loot. It is said that men always look for the image of their mother. However, these things you should be asking of the lady's future husband. Finding out 
His preferences will be part of this task. First, I must talk to the future husband. Future husband? Image of their mother? Your Majesty, what exactly are we talking about here? Haven't you been listening, Halver? We're speaking of Treon's bride-to-be. Of course, it is yet to be decided whether or not Treon is to succeed me. However, it is a distinct possibility. It will be necessary to find Puge a bride as well, but for the moment, I believe we should search for a fitting consort for Crown Prince Treon. Mm-hmm. I thought our conversation peculiar. The only thing peculiar around here is you, Halver. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This may seem presumptuous of me, but what of my own daughter? She is kind-hearted and fair of face. She has perhaps been of marriageable age for a little longer than usual, as I pondered which house would be best for her to marry into. <laughs> Alver, have you developed a sense of humor over the years? A sense of humor? I assure you, I am most serious. I never thought you were the type to indulge in comedy. You must entertain us with your jests at the next banquet. Now, as for Treon's preferences, this is quite a quandary, isn't it? I am well aware of Treon's taste in ladies. Prince Puge. My brother's predilections are obvious if you have spent as much time with him as I have. Of course, he would know better than his own brother. Well, out with it then, Puge. My brother, Prince Trion, prefers Taru Taru girls with silver hair tied in three braids and cut straight across the forehead. He seems to think that a well-traveled, free-spirited adventurer would make the best partner for him. What the fuck is this, Puge? Dude, Trion is in love with Carilla. Fucking read the Vanadel Tribune. Jesus Christ. There's Puge fucking trolling like Loki and some shit. Uh, I don't have time to play matchmaker. Oh, dear God, that's... What a fucking... Woo! <sighs> At some point, I, I might look up what, what it takes to do that quest, but... For now... No. <laughs> just, just, just no. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta go to find Dream Road. And I don't know how we're supposed to know that it's out in Kazats. I assume that we'd probably talk to the gardener, and he would probably tell us. But uh, I, don't, I don't really care after getting that extra quest cutscene. Spent more time in Chateau Dior Guild than I wanted to. Alright, let's rent a chocobo just so we can avoid the normal mount music. Plus talk to another elven cutie. Grinavi, huh? Hmm. What a cutie. You can rent a chocobo for 125 gil. I see you currently have 6,870,000. 7,755 gil. It's like, d lady, how did you, like, see that I have that much gil? Like, damn. How, what do you, like, are all the chocobo porters in this world, like, Rain Man? They just, like, looked at my wallet, and they're just like, that is a hefty sack of gil. Hmm. He must have 688, 6,877,775 gil. Damn, lady, you're right! Down to the last coin! So, we've got to get a G7. And that's basically the watery part of Revelation Rock. Someone pressed the ruby switch, but the other three switches are up. Hmm. Hmm. 
Uh, behind the Altepa Gate is where I farm for my gill, actually, when I want to make it currently. It's uh, not the best place in the game to make a gill, but at 75, it's one of the best places. It's because there's three Antica Notorious Monsters behind there. They spawn every 20 minutes. And there's also a fourth Notorious Monster that spawns there once a day. And the 20 minute Notorious Monsters, if you're on Thief or have Thief sub job so that you have Gill Finder, they give 9,000 or more Gill per kill. And if you get enough Gill Finder gear, Gill Finder gear, like the Dynamis Pants. Oh look, it's literally just labeled Dream Rose. How about that? Well, we want to take it seriously. Corilla, my spirit is high with you by my side. Come, let us let the flash of our blades light up the battlefield. Yeah. You should know it already since we did the um Savage Blade quest, but Corilla once fought Prince Trion you know, in the finals of a swordsmanship tournament, and she broke his sword with Savage Blade. And it cost her one of her eyes. Okay, so Sabatinder Enamorado. So what, Sabatinder Loverboy or something like that? Did I lose my wyvern? I guess I lost my wyvern when we, like, went in the battlefield or whatever. I wonder if they'll ever add an Urpalacian for us. You know, the first dragoon in the world or whatever. Like the last dragoon. Obtain key item, Dream Rose. In her will, the late Queen Lute asked that this flower forever bloom in her chateau garden. The pollen of the Dream Rose is said to cause hallucinations. Dun dun dun. I bet you it's going to give us a vision of her and she's going to tell us the shit or something. Because she's awesome. Also, I'm just going to use my E-Chat ring because I want the extra EXP effect. It lasts for like 12 hours. And I might as well, you know. Might as well, might as well. I'm unable to use item. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eh, Corilla has more MP than Trion. She got her MP merit, boy. Swing. So we gotta talk to Halver, then we gotta go to the garden. That'll be the end of this mission. Then we trade some crystals and start the next mission. Meow, 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 meow.
Please take the Dream Rose to Shavuoto, the gardener. He will do the rest of the work. <laughs> Such loyalty to a corpse. There's nothing more amusing in this world than a knight. Hey, Roach your phone's back in the in the chateau. Stopping by to smell the roses. Such refined taste for an adventurer. What petty mission have these people sent you on this time? The Queen's will? Dream Rose? There must be something behind all this. Well, what's going on? The flowers have... Calm wind? You must not pursue the treasure of the Dragon King. History must not repeat itself. No. Oh, look at that hottie. That was the previous queen, huh? Wait, what? Who was that? My imagination, or...? You'll have to excuse me, I have another engagement. Who was that? Who were you talking to just now? No matter, you brought me a dream rose, right? Hand it over. Yes, this be the one. You say you saw the queen? Ha ha ha, I never heard anything so daft. Ha ha, they say the pollen of the dream rose can cause people to be seeing funny things. You must be tired from your mission. Maybe you should get some rest. Hey, what's that? That's your feet. That yours? Uh, sure, I'll take it. Chain key item, piece of paper. A message found in Queen Lute's garden. It reads, When faced with deceit, often the truth lies behind your back. Okay. Don't know what that's all about, but we gotta go see our cutie patootie gate guard now. To get mission 6 tack 2. Which looks like we'll be going to King Rampier's tomb. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, girl owl, make me a sandwich and give me a smooch. Oh, damn it, I gotta trade more crystals. I don't know how many. I'll give you these remaining two. Rampair's final rest. Prince Trion is requesting the aid of an adventurer. It looks fairly urgent. You should go directly to the chateau. Bum, 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 bum. Visit Prince Trion in his room at H7 of the Chateau d'Oragil. After the cutscene, gather a party and go to King Rampair's tomb. Do, do, do. Head for H8 in King Rampair's tomb on the first map. 
when ready, sneak one member and have them check the heavy stone door. Three skeleton, notorious monsters will popped. Corrupted Suffol, corrupted Yorgos, and corrupted Old Brig. Two are black branches, one is a warrior. You need to kill your ghosts. Try to sneak depop them. Okay, so we're just gonna kill them all with trusts. Cool beans, cool beans. They are immune to sleep and lullaby. They have about 7300 HP apiece. When defeated, check the heavy stone door again. Make love in the club. Make love in the club. So it was you the guard sent. No matter, your mission this time deals with the treasure of the Dragon King. Our royal scholars have brought to light the fact that the treasure may be hidden in the true t tomb of King Rampere. As you may have already realized, the current tomb is a new one, built many years after the king passed away. The location of the true tomb was lost during the Great War. This loss was haunted Sandioria for the past 20 years. Finding the location of the true tomb is critical in locating the lost treasure, as well as boosting the kingdom's morale. Your mission is to seek out the true tomb of King Rampare. I can trust that you will not deface the tomb when you find it. <sighs> nope, but I'll burp on it. Like the disgusting prick I am. Leaving the chateau. Yeah, I'm leaving the chateau. Ziggy Boogie Duke. Let's see, we want Ronfar. We want King Rampair's tomb. Swing. We're almost rank seven. We started the video at rank five. You ever like not feel stiff, but then your body's like, hey, you should stretch. And so like you stretch and it feels great, but then all of a sudden as you're stretching, like all your muscles that you're stretching, they just suddenly feel super stiff. Like they feel like, you know, before you started stretching them that they were locked up, even though they didn't feel that way like before the stretch. That's like as best as I can describe it. Let's go, like, full Sandy Orion on these people's asses. Get a Knight of New, a Knight of Old, another Knight of New. We'll whip out a Halver. I don't think I have any Sandy Orion White Mages. Let's see. White Mages, White Mages, White Mages. Nope, no Sandy Orion White Mages. The Pururu it is. Line roll has the most HP. Oh, dude, we must be in a... They must have activated a Super Trust campaign. Because look at a Pururu's HP and MP. Damn. I like it. I don't know why I didn't realize that when looking at their HP earlier. But damn. I love when they do that. I love when they kick up the power of trusts. So 
we've got to go to H8, which would seem to be... Whoa, whoa, hey! Hey, don't be barking. I'm recording, damn it. Mary Jane. MJ. MJ. No. No, no barking. Hey. Come here. Come here. There's nothing to be worried about. There's nothing to worry about, okay? You're okay. You're over here. Come here. Come here. Come up into my lap. Come on. You're okay. It's okay. Oh, well, fine. Oh, this dog, I tell you, she was asleep. She heard a bump somewhere. They, you know, they have exceptional hearing. I, I, I assume she heard a bump somewhere. And now she's going crazy. I'm not sure everyone's dog is like this, but my dogs, every time they hear a weird noise that wakes them up or, like, bothers them, and that makes them want to bark like that, they, uh, they want to go investigate so they can bark at it closer to where it's at or whatever. And almost all the time, it's literally just, like, the wind made the house creak or, you know, like, an Amazon package delivery guy dropped a package off at, like, 9 p.m., Or something. Let's see. I really l appreciate having a map of this place. But I'm not exactly sure the best way to go. To get to where we need to go. And I also can't tell if... It just says the stone door at H8. Which H8 seems to have two... Uh, two, uh, you know, square, square ends. Like, one of the squares, I guess, is in, technically in G8, but they're, both of their entrances are in H8, so I guess we'll find out which one's which soon enough. Now I can hear my other dog barking because the first dog went downstairs and was growly barky. So that woke him up and he's like, what? what there's something to bark about? Gotta start barking. <sighs> I love those dogs. I really do. But sometimes, sometimes it's like, please, please stop. Okay, so we're going to go down this pathway first because I don't trust this guide. Noxzeller, huh? That sounds German as fuck. Crypt Ghost. Okay. Maybe I should have trusted the guide. A doot, scoot, boogie. I wonder what level these things are. It says they're too weak to be worthwhile, but... I'm not really, like, super familiar with King Rampair's Tomb as his own. I just know that if you go the other way that leads you to Jugner Forest, you run into goblins that are, like, I think goblin leechers and stuff. They're, they're in the early 20s. Or something like that. I also know that uh, there's like a stone, 
part with like a mystery spot and you you press it and it lets you go underneath and you walk through the caves and you can find up to back in the day it was up to like level 81 or 82 skeletons and this would be where we needed to go sweet get them team paladin Maybe I should have switched to my staff. But nah. I hit him with a four hit weapon skill and every other one of my trust and my wyvern hit him and we couldn't interrupt his casting. That's some bullshit. Some bullshit I say, some bullshit. Enter through the door. Yes, yes. Let me guess, we're going to run into Rachifone again or something? You find an ancient Sandiorian book, but you're unable to decipher it. Ah, now I see. Who would have thought a tomb was hidden here? You following me, bub? I was afraid I had dropped it then. But how fortunate that you retrieved it. The dwellers of Dior Gil still do not know, do they? King Rampair, at long last I find your tomb. Such much distance separates us now, ironically. Please, please watch over me. No, I am no longer of such status, not anymore. Please, at least judge my actions for what they are. I still deserve salvation, great king of dragons. Could you show me that for a moment? I promise not to take it. After all, you wouldn't have found this place without me, would you? Thank you. Hmm, seems to be written in code. But the writing is an ancient Sandy Orion. I suppose I never had any part in it. But it seems the tome is, is the only thing here. Hmm. Obtain key item, ancient Sandy Orion book. Also, the fuck does he mean we wouldn't have found this place without him? Does he think that that hint he wrote us on the piece of paper was like... Yo, dog. here's the location of- the true location of Rampier's tomb, because it sure as fuck wasn't. But anyway, now we gotta go back to Treon. And then to a gate, guys. And then to Treon again, or something. Or then back here again, or something. So it's a back and forth between King Rampier's tomb. And I really should have invested in some sprinter shoes. Bada bing, bada boom, you know, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, 
no, no. It's Treon first. Treon, Treon, Treon. Prince Treon. Or is it Tryon? Eh, whatever. I probably said it Treon, so I'm going to continue saying it Treon. Oh my god, get fast delivery. Save new 2222 for a discount. Buy Gil. Oh, whoa. It's kind of funny. I, I, I always look down on Gil buying, like, really hardcore. And I still do. But there was actually a time in Final Fantasy XIV where I felt pressured to do it. I uh, was in a raid group that was like hardcore raiding, and uh, I wanted to switch jobs to ninja, and also like have my tank ready or whatever. But the gear I needed to do that was pin and melted crafted accessories, and I just didn't have the time to grind. And I was like, whatever, I'll buy Gil, and so I did. And it, uh, why did I go to Shavato? I guess it's because I started rambling. Um, yeah, I, I bought I bought Gil. I bought enough Gil to buy all the Pinta Melted accessories and pieces that were best in slot at the time. This was during Final Coil. Because I was, I was in a raid group that was like the secondary raid group for a free company that involved Xenosis Vex or something like that. And they like thought they were... Oh. I guess I don't listen very well. Uh... And, like... I actually got to raid with Xeno Sysvex a few... like, a couple times. Like, he came and subbed in for our group. Because this was before he got to be well-known in the community. Uh, it was... Yeah, it was Final Coil. It was before Heaven's Word. So it was like 20, 2014 or whatever. And, uh... Or 2013. Not, 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 it would have been 2014. Yeah, 2014. And so, like, I felt super pressured. And, like, my, my raid mate was like, Oh, you just do it, man. Just do it. You won't get banned. You won't get banned. Every, everyone in the high-end scene does it. Everyone in the high-end... I've done it. I've done it. Or whatever. And I was like, okay, fine. So I did. And... It was true. I, I didn't get banned. I got all the gear I wanted. You know, felt kind of cool to have it. Etc, etc. But then I felt immediate... Like, 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 just a week later, I felt immediate regret. Because I spent so much money just on in-game stuff. And, like, within, you know, a few months, the stuff I had spent real money on uh, became obsoleted by other gear. So it was just like, oh, that was kind of pointless. So, yeah. And I guess, I guess at least if you bought it in 11... You know, you could spend it on, like, a relic weapon, or a relic weapon upgrade. And in this day and age, that would be good, because some of those are the best weapons in the game. So, you know, at least, at least your real live investment would stay with you. But at the same time, you know, it's not like you earned anything. It's like, pay to win, right? So... I don't know. I don't think you should. Like, it's everyone's excuse that, you know, it was just convenience, you know, it's just to save you time, you know, you don't have time to grind, so you're saving yourself time, or you're, you're competing for that world first, or that world second, or that, you know, whatever, whatever thing you tell yourself to justify spending money on money, on, you know, spending real money on fake money in a video game, which equates to trading money for time, or trading money for 
whatever. I don't know. It's, it's just... All around, it's a bad idea. Like, it's against the terms of service. You shouldn't do it. And I... I don't think I'll ever do it ever again. Just... The, the disappointment and the fact that, like, you know... It wasn't really a long-term investment. Like, it just... It, it felt like a waste of money after... Just after, after a little, little while, like it was very transitory. Plus, the real way you should do things is you should be, you should get so good at the game that you charge other people in-game currency in large amounts to do stuff for them. That's like the, that's like the real ace in the hole. The king is about to make an official announcement regarding its contents in the Great Hall. Father, shall we begin? Yes, Trion. Oh, I see. The discoverer of the ancient tome is also here with us. Well, as you all expected, the tome discovered is, in fact, the true resting place of the Dragon King. I applaud our adventurer on his work. In addition to this, the ancient writings also tell us about King Rampyr's treasure. According to the encrypted tome, the treasure is a sword. A sword that, when unsheathed, wields more power than one can imagine. Lightbringer. The Dragon King's... Lightbringer. Unfortunately, the whereabouts of the sword were not found within the tome's pages. However, our investigation has taken an important step toward... Forward. Uh, Calmwind, if you obtain any new information on Lightbringer, I ask you to share it with us. Well, finding Rampier's Holy Sword is one of our top priorities. Paying proper homage, homage, or whatever, to our former king is something I wish to do as his successor to this throne. Calmwind, I wish for you to travel to the Dragon King's tomb and purge the area of any vermin. We will follow directly behind. Okay, so... Now what? Return to the Heavy Stone Gore again for another cutscene. Okay, my dog is back at my door whining, 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 whining incessantly to get in. And she is the type of dog that will never give up. Like, literally never give up. I have tried ignoring her so that she will stop doing that. And she will literally whine at my door for like eight hours straight. Sorry about that. Yeah. She's a dachshund. Her name is Mary Jane. She's a rescue. Her previous owners named her Mary Mary Jane. They were the first ones to, to take her from the shelter or whatever. And uh, her sad, tragic backstory is more or less like her litter got abandoned in the middle of the woods by like whoever, I guess, had them. And was like, well, we can't afford, you know, these puppies. And I guess, you know, we don't have time to sell them or whatever or something. So they just left them out in the middle of the woods to die. And she, like, lived her first couple of weeks of life, like, with her litter just out in the middle of nowhere. Just, like, scrounging. And they got found... Uh and taken to the shelter by someone, I don't know who. And then her prior owners, they got her, I guess when she was a couple of months old or something. They had her for a couple months and they got her spayed. Or maybe the shelter spayed her, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but they had her and they named her Mary Jane. And it was, she was like, it's like a, a father, a mother, and a daughter. The daughter named her. And wait, I need to go to King Rampers too. Uh, but like, 
I guess they couldn't handle her. She's really, she has a lot of energy, like a lot of energy. And uh, very, very frisky dog. And uh, it is possible to tire her out though. I have tired her out before. It takes some doing. Uh, and she's just the greatest little sweetheart. Yes, she is. And she's currently wrapping herself in my bed blankets. But, uh... <sighs> Basically, her owner started advertising her as a giveaway. Like, they're just going to give her away. Like, not charge anyone any money, not sell her to someone, just give her away. And they, they straight up lied, too. They said that she was house-trained. She was not. And this was when she was around seven months old. And my mom saw her advertisement. And my mom, at the time... Uh, it was, I guess it was 2019. Yeah, it was, I guess it was December 2019. Uh, said, we have to get this dachshund. So we got this dachshund and, uh, it was like right before her cancer relapsed. Huh, what's this Master Level 48 Dark Knight doing here? Uh, maybe they've come to get Master Level 50? Kind of jealous, their Clad Bulk looks really cool. It's only for Paladin and Dark Knight, though. That really kind of irritated me. The Empyreans, when the Empyrean weapons came out. They didn't do a mythic greatsword, and Warrior, Paladin, and Dark Knight are all on the Relic greatsword, the Ragnarok. But they come out with the Empyrean greatsword, and I've always been a greatsword enthusiast in Final Fantasy XI. At the original 75 cap, uh, the, uh, the greatsword was considered to be like a, not a complete joke of a weapon, but like, it's not anyone's first line of, of weaponry. Like, Dark Knight had the highest skill ranking in it with an A minus, so 269. And then Warrior had a B plus at 256, and Paladin has a B, a flat B in it, 250. And for whatever godforsaken reason, they decided to let Paladin have access to Spinning Slash, but not Warrior. Uh, which is really weird, because Spinning Slash is considered the strongest move from that time, even though Ground Strike is almost as good and as better at higher TP values, and also has the additional skill chain property that can open darkness for gravitation weapon skills. Uh, but Warrior has the B+. Plus. Paladin has the flat B. Paladin is a job that has all these things that revolve around using a sword and a shield. So using a great sword on Paladin, like, it's fine, you know? But it's not like... It's hardly ever, you know, worth it. So what do they do? They put Paladin on the Relic Greatsword. They put Paladin on the Empyrean Greatsword. I don't know. I don't know. It just... It, it, it frustrates me that, like... Warrior's not on it. Because if Warrior were on the Empyrean Greatsword, I would make a fucking Clad Bulg in a heartbeat. That would be, like, the Empyrean I go for. But they put Warrior on Great Axe and Axe. Which, I guess it's lucky that it got to be on the axe at all, because, you know, it's not on the Relic Axe, it's not on the Mythic Axe, and it's got an A- in Axe. It's the second highest axe skill after Beastmaster, and does a lot more damage with an axe than Beastmaster can, or at least back in the day. I don't know about now. Nowadays, Beastmaster has access to so many unique axes that single... Single-handed axes are kind of like its domain. Not saying Warrior does terrible with them, it's just... Like... 
The Beastmaster is the one that gets access to all the crazy cool weapon skills for the most part. Kind of annoying. But yeah, my mom, she got she got Mary Jane as a as a pick me up during the final months of her cancer, her pancreatic cancer. Which for a while, you know, like she went into remission for for just like just a little bit, just like long enough. I, I don't think it was actually ever full remission, but like she she got healthy enough to where she could walk and 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 talk and dance, and she danced at my brother's wedding, and was just very very happy, and that was in August of 2019, and then by January of 2020, you know they found more cancer on her lungs. Damn, we've brought the whole f royal family and the Pope down here? God damn. It's like asking to have the entire royal family wiped out in one huge explosion. Hmm, as per your report, Calmwind, it seems no monsters infest this place. Very well, let us begin, your majesty. Spirit of Ranpair, great king of dragons, may your rest continue undisturbed. Watch over the glory of our ancestors. Welcome, heir of the dragon blood. The sword, you must hurry. Oh, that's totally just Rochifone. Be gone from these holy grounds, foul deceiver. You must have run away. We should hold our position until the end of the ceremony. Yes, I shall guard the interior. But I wonder what that knight meant. Surely he meant for us to obtain it quickly. What else could it be? Surely just a riddle. Nothing to worry over. The dragoon's riddles are often deep. What do you mean? Have you forgotten, Carilla? The knights who served King Grandpair were headed by a dragoon. The last one of that age. The last of the dragoons? Eh, oomph. I knew it was no ordinary outlaw. Anyway, the rest is up to you, Rahal. What was that? Surely the work of evildoers. Anywhere the outlaw goes, they are sure to follow. Your Majesty, we must continue the ceremony. I know. We failed to capture the intruder. It was probably just another grave robber. Robber, we shall post knights in this tomb. So we've nothing to worry about. I thank you for your service to the bloodline of King Rampair. Thanks to you, our future is bright. Calm wind. Do not forget to deliver your report to the guard at the gatehouse. Okay. Do we get rank 7 now? Was that... That was 6 stack 2, right? Yeah, so we're gonna get rank 7. Yay! Rank 7! Let's see what the next mission has us do. Hmm. 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 Next mission looks like it, it might be able to be done in fi like 15 or so minutes. We won't get rank 8 in this video, but I think we might be able to get to... You know to where we only have one mission to rank 8 and then uh, after that you know there's only two rank 8 missions and two rank 9 missions and then we'll be rank 10 so we'll be five missions away if we get this mi next mission done we'll be five missions away from rank 10 Sandioria finally being able to go back to being best token
Ah, oh, I gotta trade crystals again. Go figure. Here, take these last two earth, and I don't know, three of these from the other stack. Prestige of the Papsk. The Papsk Smear? Okay. I guess it's about time we had a mission that wasn't just go to Chateau Dior, heal, and deal directly with the royal family and work directly for the royal family. Although it seems like the Papsk is also, you know, basically in bed with the royal family, so. San Dioria and Windurst both have this sort of, uh, That water look, almost looks like it's not there. Um, they both sort of have like a theocracy thing going because Star Sybil's like a, almost like a religious leader. They call her Her Holiness and stuff. And then here in Sandioria, they have, they have a Pope. So it's like, Yep, sure did hear about it. If the sword would fall into orcish hands, Sandioria would have her back against the wall. The situation must be prevented at any cost. We have Temple Knights participating in the search efforts, but there's an obvious lack of manpower. Our scholars have been coming through the ancient Sandiorian texts we retrieved, searching for any new clues. I'm confident they will find something. If only the Cathedral's library had survived the fires of the Great War, we would not be so behind in our research of Linebringer. Your Holiness! I apologize, you have a visitor. Mind you not, what is it, Morsheen? Yes, Your Holiness, during the search for the library, we came across an ancient parchment, parchment hidden inside another book. Until now, we had passed it off as a poem written by someone long ago. However, after deciphering it, we realized it was a message reporting something hidden deep within the Bostonau Oubliette during the Great War. It's giving us silly Taru Taru music. Is this a ruse? Okay. So we gotta go to Bosno Oubliette. And that's just inside the chateau. Underneath the chateau. Um, let's see, what do we gotta do exactly? This guy is saying we could go in the chateau like normal, or we could use a unity warp that would take us closer to where we need to be inside of, of uh, the Boston Oubliette. So let's do that instead. I don't know where the unity warp guy is in Sandioria, so I'm just going back to Bastok. Pretty sure we can use the Unity Warp guys in any nation. We don't need to kowtow to the strange Sandiorian layout. Hmm. White to encounter, please. Bastano Oubliette, please. A hundred accolades, you, you bastard! Nah, I'm just kidding. We have capped accolades pretty much every week. 
pretty early, and then I spend them all on prison powder, which I NPC and make a mill off of. And, yep, this is pretty much exactly where we need to be. We actually need to go to West Ronforth through the Boston Oubliette. It puts us on top of a place with a mystery spot that is inaccessible from West Ronfar. Oh, geomagnetic fount. How about that? Let's whip out Team Paladin, shall we? Something is amiss. Oh snap. Marauder does Vog Zog, huh? Um, if I didn't know any better, I would say the folk is in bed with the orcs and is trying to have me killed. Super jump uh, eliminates all of our enmity. So, not that we needed to. I'm pretty sure Valina Earl would have held hate the whole time anyway. But uh, I just felt like it. Sometimes I just like seeing that really cool animation where you jump and disappear because you jump so high. Ancient Sandiorian tablet, huh? The characters on it are beyond comprehension. Oh, hey, we're not even that far away. Oh, what? This region has major Bastoken influence. Hmm, we got some people working for Bastok this week. Which I'll be back to working for Bastok soon enough. Just as soon as I get rank 10. Actually, I have some conquest points I want to spend before I go back. It's like you keep your conquest points uh, when you switch nations, but you can only spend them like at like for the nation you earn them for while you're that nation's uh, under that nation's allegiance. So we've got like almost 300,000 conquest points to spend for Sandioria. I don't know what I'll get with them yet, but it's pretty sure I'm just going to spend them on stuff I can NPC to make to turn the conquest points into gil. Uh, especially since I'm planning on doing a second relic. Uh, which I guess I'm about at the quarter of the way done with, technically, currency-wise, so... Yeah, as far as my relic and mythic and Empyrean ambitions go, I think like I already did Excalibur. I want to do Ragnarok. Mythic wise, I I want to do the Great Katana. I think just because. I think it's cool, and also just, you know, this memory I have with my mom, you know, asking me if, are you the knight? And I'm on Samurai, and it's like, oh, yes, mom, I'm the knight. <laughs> just her, just her best guess at what I was, you know, like, from looking at the armor I was wearing, 
the fact I had what was clearly a sword of some type on, on my character. But then the Empyreans, like, on my main character, I did the Great Axe, and on one of my alts, I did the Great Katana before. Um, not all the way upgraded, just, just like, level 90, but... Uh, I think on this character, if I were to do an Empyrean, it would, either, it would either have to be the sword or the spear. And I'm leaning towards the spear, because I've actually really been enjoying playing Dragoon recently. But, uh... Let's see, we gotta go back to the Paps, right? Yep. Uh, that was a really short mission. I wonder what the next mission is. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't look too bad at all. I don't think I'll try to get it done in this video, because we're already going on long enough. And I don't know how long this cutscene with the Pope's going to be. But, uh... Yeah, I think, I think next video we might... There's a realistic chance we might get all the way to rank 10. These Sandy Orion missions are short and sweet. I see, so you did not find Lightbringer, but what you have found is truly a possession of the Lost Dragon King. Your Holiness, the Royal Knights sent to investigate the Bastano Oubliette have returned. Their search turned up nothing. What is that? Prince Puge, calm wind, retrieve this stone tablet from deep within the Oubliette. When the great King Rampir brought the chaos in Sandioria under control, it is said that his admonition was carved in stone. This may be that very tablet, my prince. I was correct in assuming that the Royal Knights would not be suited for a task such as this, one that requires perseverance. However, we cannot be sure that this tablet is King Rampir's. Absolutely, there is still much deciphering that must be carried out by our scholars. It will require much more time. However, I promise you that I will make this task our top priority. As for the report on our finding of the tablet, I shall take the matter up with the king myself. And as for you, Conwyn, once the deciphering has been completed, we may have another task for you. Good day. You say you were under orders from the Paps? I'm sorry for all the trouble he may have caused you. When it comes to the subject of the Lightbringer, the Paps becomes a different man. Okay. Oh. That's 7 tech 1 done. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and pick up the next mission. But we won't, like, do anything with it yet. And then I'll... Whenever I have time to record next, I will record and we will kick its butt. Yeah, I'm loving how short and sweet these Sandiorian missions are. Also, a lot of them seem to involve a lot more fighting than the uh, Windurstian ones did. Just my style. Though Bastok is obviously still my favorite. And always will be. Forever and for always. And we're gonna have to trade crystals again. Of course. Of course. Take five. The fair clady. I, I guess their middle initial is I. But 
I'm not sure if it's I or the first, but whatever. Lady Diorogil has invited you to the chateau. She wishes for you to see the flowers that have bloomed from the seeds you brought back from Maltepa. It is an honor to be invited to the chateau garden. One day you may even have the opportunity to attend one of their royal garden parties. We cannot keep the princess waiting. Now off to the chateau. Are you jelly, Grilau? Mm. Also, Clady inviting us. Mm. But, yeah, we're pretty much, you know, at, at, at a good time to stop. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. And next time, we will try to finish up Sandy Orion missions. We might not succeed, depending on cutscene length and travel length and all that. But, we shall see. So, please look forward to it. Thanks again for watching and liking and all that nonsense. <laughs>